with our 4th of July fallout, and despite all of the calls and warnings, it was not enough to stop illegal fireworks from being set off around the Central Coast. Still, law enforcement says, compared to last year, they believe there was a vast improvement. We have team coverage on the fireworks fallout from both Santa Cruz and Monterey counties, beginning with Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker, who's live right now in Salinas. Bryn? Dan, Salinas police say they saw an increase in citations and arrests, and that's because they stepped up enforcement. They sent out an additional 35 police officers just for the 4th of July. Now, that's not to say it wasn't a busy night, though. The fire department received roughly 800 reports of illegal fireworks use in the last week. Although there were, there were still quite a few people that were illegally setting off fireworks, it was a lot calmer than it, than it has been in the last few years. Salinas Police Deputy Chief Dave Shaw says compared to years past, last night's 30 confiscations of illegal fireworks and 13 arrests was an improvement for the city. Anecdotally, from the officers who worked last year and worked last night, um, they all report that last night was a lot calmer than it was uh, last year. This is a look at all the fireworks that were confiscated this 4th of July in Salinas. It doesn't look like a whole lot because it's not. These 20 mortars were one of the biggest busts police made. We got quite a few uh, people calling 911 as well as the, uh, the text line. Uh, and then the officers were out on patrol, so they were seeing them and, and trying to narrow them down. The Salinas Police Department normally brings in two to three additional officers for the 4th, but this year they stepped things up with 35 additional officers. They say the combination of tougher enforcement and a new community fireworks show meant less illegal fireworks shooting off into the sky. And I think uh, the addition of the fireworks show helped quite a bit because there was a huge crowd out there and those were people that weren't setting off fireworks in their neighborhood. The host of the fireworks show, the Salinas Sports Complex, was also pleased with the turnout. Roughly 14,000 people packed the Rodeo grounds for the long-awaited fireworks show. The fireworks show was awesome. We ended up having over 14,000 people turn out for a fireworks show that was 20 minutes long with huge fireworks, so it was really exciting. And uh, police say they did not have to respond to any fireworks related injuries or fires last night. And they also didn't have any reports of illegal fireworks use at that show in Salinas. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Bryn. There were a number of small fires reported last night because of fireworks. This one in Soledad happened at the Little League Park. Cal Fire says it was part of the city's show. They say sparks from a firework are to blame. It did happen within a safety zone that had been put up around the display. No one was hurt. They were able to put that out very quickly.